extrusions along a path. We can take any 2D shape, such as a circle for example, and and we're going to place that thing right at 0 comma 0 and I'll make a little circle here and we can extrude this along a path now it can be any kind of a, a 2D shape just about it could be a line, arc, a circle, an ellipse uh, you know things of that nature and we can extrude along a line or an arc or a spline um, it can be a 3D polyline for example things like that. So I drew my circle but now I want to draw my my line I want to extrude it on. Well right now the plane is this X and Y plane where the grid is on. If I drew a line it's on the same plane. I can't extrude it on the same plane. I have to rotate my UCS. So I'm going to pick my UCS and I'm going to say hover and say uh, rotate around uh, let's go rotate around the let's say the x-axis direction so well what do we want to rotate um, and let's do this let's pick on here and right click and we'll rotate axis and let's rotate around the x-axis and so now I'm gonna say I want to rotate it 90 degrees and now you can see my plane of my XY is different. What I'm going to do now is just draw a line and I'm going to start at 0 comma 0 and I'm going to draw a line say up Oop. and let's see Do that again. Let's draw. Let's draw a polyline. We're gonna go from zero, and let's see. We're gonna go uh, oh, and we'll go straight up. And we'll, there we go. Now, um, let's do the extrude command. We're gonna go extrude select the circle to extrude, hit enter and we're going to come down and pick on the path I pick on the path I could pick the taper angle if I wanted to but right now I'm not, I'm just going to pick on the extrusion path I pick on this path and notice it builds a mitered corners at each one of the bends in the line okay now I'm going to undo that and now I'm going to copy this and I'm going to move it over a little bit and I'm going to change this line, I'm going to get rid of that line and I'm going to put in say an arc and I'll go do 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 okay and now we're going to extrude this, uh, uh, this circle I pick the circle I hit enter oh, now I'll do that one more time I say extrude I pick the circle, I hit enter, I come down and grab and pick on the path option, I select the arc, and it makes a nice smooth circle at this point. Now, um, basically if it's a solid filled in item, it will extrude it uh, on a path. If it's an open item, uh, when we extrude it on the path, it's known as a sweep. We'll cover sweeps a little later. Um, but I actually want to uh, make a copy of this and I'll move this over and I'm going to erase this and I'm going to put a spline in so I take a spline I pick here All right. ah one more time I hit enter there we go we got our spline now we're going to go up to extrude, select on the object, hit enter, pick on the path, choose the path, and now I get a spline and it's a smooth item. I'm going to do this one right here. Again, I'm going to do extrude. 
and select the object. I'm going to hit enter. And notice I can come in here and put a taper angle in. Uh, so I can put a taper angle of, let's say, 10 degrees. And then I can still come in and pick the path. I'll pick the path. I'll hit. Ooh. Uh, yeah, we can't go into itself. So because of the turns of the lines in there. Okay. Well, let's just go and make it extrude it. We'll pick the object. Hit enter. We'll pick the path. And boom. So we have our three basic types of extruding along a path, which is basically uh, the biggest problem most students have is they try to draw the circle and the path on the same plane. They must be on two different planes. So you need to rotate your UCS to somewhere else and then you can extrude a path, uh, extrude an object along the path.